OK, so amplitude, period, and frequency. So on a problem like this, first thing we want to be able, first thing we're going to figure out is the amplitude. And if you guys remember from your notes last class, read amplitude was the half distance from the max to the min. All you need to do to find the amplitude is find the absolute value of A. For those of you that were not here, remember we looked at sine of bx minus c. Right? That was our trigonometric form, our transformation form. So amplitude is the absolute value of A, which in this case is the absolute value of negative 4, which is just equal to 4. The period is, remember, the distance that it takes for the graph to repeat itself. So um, period is going to be, for sine and cosine, is 2 pi divided by absolute value of b. So b, in this case, is our value that's multiplying by your x. So it's very important, Martha, that you guys do make sure that you understand that 2, two times x over 3 is the same thing as 2 thirds x. So therefore, b, in this case, is going to be 2 thirds. So we have 2 pi divided by 2 thirds. Whenever we have a whole number divided by a fraction, we need to multiply by the reciprocal on the top and the bottom. So you multiply by 3 over 2, multiply by 3 over 2. 2 is divide out. Reciprocals multiply to 1. And you're left with 3 pi. That means it takes the graph a distance of 3 pi to repeat itself, for it, for it to complete one cycle. And then last but not least is we have the frequency. Within a given time interval is how many um, cycles that it can complete within a time interval, which the frequency is the absolute value b divided by 2 pi. So in this case, you're basically looking at the reciprocal of the period, which is going to be 1 over 3 pi, because they are reciprocals of one another. Okay, And that's all you guys had to do for 13, 14, 15, and 16. Anybody have any further follow-up questions on those?